Hey everyone, welcome to Hussein Studios. Today, I'll show you how to model a knurled knob in Blender, with either a diamond or bubble pattern. Perfect for adding that detailed look to your projects. Let's get started. First, press Shift plus A to add a cylinder. Scale it down slightly, just so it's a more compact size for a knob. Now, go into edit mode by pressing Tab. Select the top loop of the cylinder by holding Alt and clicking on the top edge. Now, let's extrude and scale this top loop. Press E to extrude, then S to scale it down a little. Again extrude and scale it down. Next, here select this loop edge. Let's press Ctrl plus B on the top loop to bevel it slightly. This gives it a nice, rounded, smooth edge. Now select the bottom loop of the cylinder. Press E to extrude, then S to scale it in slightly, again. Extrude in Z direction. Now for the knurled texture, add a loop cut by pressing Ctrl plus R. Increase the number of cuts to about 20. Next, go to the face menu at the top. Select poke face to split each face into triangles. Then go back to face mode and choose tris to quads to convert these triangles into a diamond pattern across the surface. To add depth to the pattern, press I twice to inset each face slightly. This will give the knob a raised, textured feel. Then, poke the faces one more time from the top view, and increase the offset for a finer, raised pattern. Now, if you're happy with the diamond pattern, you can apply material here and render it for a clean finish, or you can even use it for 3D printing right at this stage. For this tutorial, though, I want the bubble-like, triangular pattern. So, let's apply a subdivision surface modifier to smooth out the pattern. Set the subdivision value to around 3 for a polished look. Now go to edit mode by pressing tab. Select this loop edge and move it down with pressing G. To correct the deformation on the edges, let's add a couple of loop cuts. Press Ctrl plus R near the top and bottom edges. And adjust them to keep the shape solid and stable. All right, now for the materials. Open the Blender Kit add-on if you have it. If not, I'll add a link in the description so you can download it. Go to materials and search for something like metal or plastic to give it a realistic finish. Here, I'm going with a plastic material and choosing this one. Just right click on it, then drag and drop onto the knob. Now, Go to render mode and check the result. Looks perfect. Here I'll add a little extra lighting and adjust it. And there we have it. A beautifully detailed knurled knob. You can see the stunning realistic result. Ready to render, use in other models, or even for 3D printing. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to Hussein Studios for more videos. See you next time.